to Healing and Wisdom. I'm Dr. Crystal Nix, chiropractor and certified acupuncturist. We're going to start this new series of desire. And this is the first video. You might wonder why are we having this discussion on desire when I thought we were talking about healing and wisdom. So the way that we're going to start off this discussion is more so if we didn't have our desires laid out for us if we were just shooting for this random thing of health. First off is it becomes defined by others and therefore it's more of a moving target. Second is we end up being yo-yoed between the opinions and voices of other people, just bouncing from fad to fad and new health trend to the next. The last thing is that we end up also being motivated out of shame and shoulds rather than out of our true selves. Now we're gonna talk about what happens when we actually do have our desire clear before us. One is we have a sense of drive pushing us forward. We use all of our faculties, including our health, to help fulfill that desire. Health then becomes a tool rather than just an end goal. Second, we begin to automatically internalize wisdom. We have an idea of what helps bring us closer to that desire and what brings us further away. And therefore we have an internal, internal monitor and compass rather than being yo-yoed. Finally, we have a why that motivates us rather than shame or cravings or being reactive. We are motivated by our true selves our bodies will eventually and gradually become aligned with our spirits when we have this why clear before us. I like to lean on the wisdom of sages throughout human history. So for those with or without a Christian background, I think you'll find the observation that Jesus made about his friends very interesting. He told them that the spirit truly is willing, but your flesh is weak. His friends were not clear on their desire. They were just followers. When they did become clear on their desire, suddenly they were full of purpose. Their life had a mission. And then they were even willing to go without sleep, to go without comfort, and to the point of going through pain and deprivation and eventually giving up their lives as well. Why? Why did they decide to do all of that? What was that shift for them? It was because they knew that they were satisfied, their spirits were satisfied, fulfilling the thing that they desired, and they were able to draw from pools of abundance within because they had that sense of self-satisfaction. We too can have such internal pools of abundance things like wisdom and that same sort of self-satisfaction as we're pursuing the things that we desire. We can then partner with external resources like nutrition, exercise, and even healthcare providers in a way that helps us to fulfill those desires that we have. They partner with those internal pools. In the next video, we're gonna talk about ways to discover what your desires might be. And then in the meantime, I invite you to consider your choices. Just as you're going through the day, just pausing and having a reflection of a question similar to this in mind. Is this choice helping me move closer to the thing that I desire in life? If so, proceed with satisfaction. If not, then you can use this as a moment to consider alternatives that will be more supportive. And you can do so with joy because you can know that you get to choose the life that you hope to have, the life of fulfilling your desires. Stay tuned for the next video and I look forward to seeing you guys then. In the meantime, if you wanna share some of your desires that you're already thinking of or some ways that you've made a shift from certain choices that you typically would have chosen, we'd love to hear that. I'm looking forward to seeing you next time.